Hello beautiful people. I'm back and as you can see I have a very ugly piece of work sitting in front of you that I'm going to redo. Um, it was a bad pour. I did not like the colors and then I decided to test some puffy paint on here and didn't like that so I'm going to cover it all. I'm going to make a geode and it's going to be something different that I haven't seen anybody use yet in the resin and geode field. That is, I've seen this done before in other types of artwork, but not in a geode. So here it is. I am going to be using eggshells for texture. So, when I use eggs of any type, I take the shells and I let them dry out. And then what happens on, on the inside of the eggshell, there's a very thin layer of like a skin almost that you can peel out. And then you have the pure eggshell. So once you peel out that very thin layer, you can take your eggshells, crush them up small, and use them in artwork. They don't smell or anything like that, and there's no yolk or anything like that on the inside of them. Um, I have some white eggshells and some brown eggshells. It does not matter because it will be covered in resin. So what I want to do is I want to adhere some to this surface. So I went ahead and I sanded this down, wiped it with alcohol. And what I'm going to do is apply some Mod Podge and press these eggshells down onto it and then let it dry. It's a very relaxing, fun thing to do. I'm using matte Mod Podge. It has been my experience with anything that has gloss in it, like Mod Podge, uh, glossy spray paint. The resin reacts to it for me. I don't know about everybody else, but for me, it pits. So I try to stick with matte products. So things that don't have that glossy additive in them. So you just want to put down a nice layer nice thick layer of the Mod Podge in the area that you want to work. Do, do small sections at a time. Okay, and then take the eggshell. You'll notice one side is the outer edge. It's curved. And then you have the back side of the eggshell. Outer edge needs to be facing up and just press it down just like that and snap it into place. It's very relaxing, guys. You can sit down, watch TV and do this, and it adds a really nice texture to your art piece. You just wanna make sure, since you're using resin, that it's pushed down pretty flat. I'm working on this ridge from the, the puffed paint, so, it's going to be a little more challenging for me, but if you try this, I doubt that you're going to have that there. So you just want to keep placing them along until the entire area that you want filled in is filled in. You can leave this one like split open. You can leave some space in between them for resin to flow through it. It's all in what you want for a design. Now my eggshells happen to be very small, so it's gonna take me a while, which I'm not gonna have you guys watch all of this, but when you do crush them up, if you want to use them in something like this, maybe leave them a little bit bigger. This way, 
you can take the one big piece and just press it down and it will cover a bigger area than mine are. So I'm going to go finish this whole area and then I will bring you back when this is cured and we're ready to do the next step. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my eggshells to dry, I want to also add some silver leaf in sporadic patches. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put some Mod Podge down where I want the silver leaf, and then I'm just going to put some silver leaf on it. I have the type that is already in little tiny pieces, and I can tell you the brand. It's called Gild It It, Gild It, by Creative Concepts. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. This is a blend. It's a um, copper, silver, and gold, but I'm just gonna use a silver one. So I wanna have an area of it that is coming out of my geode in almost a triangular shape. So I'm just gonna put the gold, the Mod Podge where I want that silver to be. Just put a layer of it down in the shape. So I want it to kind of come like this to a point and then back down this way. So I'll get the bag open here. This stuff can be quite messy. I will warn you of that because it's already in its flake form. So just want to be cautious of that. And I'll just literally put it in that area. Just sprinkle it around. You got to break it up a little bit. It will fly everywhere. It will get all over your fingers. It's a very messy job, but somebody has to do it. Radio, radio. I find that the sheets of gold leaf are a lot easier, but they did not have any in silver when I went. So I'm stuck with this stuff. So I'll put a nice heavy coat down and then what I'll do is I'll get a, a paintbrush that is has some stiff bristles, which is usually the cheapo ones. If I can find it here, here it is. And I'll just tap it down with the paintbrush, just like this, to cover the glued areas. That gives a lot of texture. To your piece also. And then I'll kind of sweep it off. Texture adds interest in a piece. And that's why I like to add some here and there. So now I'll let that one dry for a minute and then I'll give it a nice sweep to get off the excess, the excess. 
and I'm going to put one more area here. I think maybe coming down just like this right here. Just a little spot. So maybe just like this. Kind of break it up over the area. And I want it to be a little more pointy than what it is. So just putting a little dab of glue there, or Mod Podge. And a couple more pieces of this. This is deceiving. When you get the bag and you look at the bag, it looks like it's you know, so finely chopped and easy to just sprinkle. But then when you open the bag, it's like stuck together in huge, big piles. So you got to kind of just work with it. So what I will do is... I'm going to pause the video, let this dry, and then I'll come back to sweep off the excess. And move on to the next step. What I've decided to do also is I want to put some silver leaf in with these eggshells. There's a lot of Mod Podge there and figure that may look nice. Just like kind of thrown within there in certain spots. Strewn without, is that how you say it? Strewn. <laughs> I could barely speak English, never mind old English, which it probably is not even old English. That sounds stupid. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm just going to put it here and there. How's that for proper English? Just a little, don't want to cover the whole eggshell part, just to help soak up some of that Mod Podge. Especially in this area. Only because I'm impatient and don't want to wait hours for it to dry. So I'm hoping by putting this down it'll cover some of it and help out.
okay and instead of using a brush I'm going to use the tip of a brush because I don't want to get glue all over my bristles so I'm just going to use something like this here to push it down in to the Mod Podge This actually may be too dry already over here for it to stick. Just gonna dab it a little bit with the Mod Podge. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone now, let it dry, and then move on to the next step. I will show you the colors I'm using really quick. So I ordered some new pigments from Just Pigments is the name of the company. And I love the colors that I chose. I got, this is the color I'm going to be using tonight. And it's called uh, Blue, actually Superstar Blue Mauve. And let me get a flashlight. Let's see if that helps. It's a beautiful blue, purple, mauve color. I don't think you can see it good. No, it looks turquoise. Anyway, it's a really, really pretty color. So I'm going to be using that. Um, I'm going to be using Amethyst Dream by Larez. And then I know I'm going to use white, which will be the Angel White by Larez. And Silver Molten Silver by Larez. Those are the colors so far. I may choose, may choose, add a little tiny bit of this turquoise green from Just Pigments. We'll see about that. But I was, uh, I got an email from them and I decided to go on there and check out their pigments and they're not bad priced, and it's free shipping for anything over $10. And uh, they sell sample sizes. These were $1.50 each. Um, so they are, I think, let's see. I don't know. It was like something really small, like... This is a 30 gram here. This is a 30 gram size bag. This was, I believe, 650. But you can see how much smaller this is. It's enough to do, you know, one pour, and it was a dollar fifty. So you could buy samples of colors if you want. Um, the one I'm most excited to use that I got is this blackish green. It looks like a dark forest green in here, but once you mix it up. At least the, the pictures show it's really, really dark, almost black, but it's green. So I'm super excited to use that. So yeah, those are the colors that I'm thinking of using. I'm definitely using the blue mauve and um, black, white, and the um, amethyst dream and some silver. Just not sure if I'm going to add in a little bit of that blue turquoise or turquoise 
green color. So I will be back shortly. Okay guys, I'm back. So everything is finished drying here. And now the next step is to remove any loose particles. So you just wanna take your stiff brush and go over the areas and really remove anything that's sticking up or that may be loose. As you can see, it's a little messy doing this, but I like what it adds in the end. So it's well worth it to me. And like I said, you really want like a, an old, really stiff bristle brush for this to work good. I'll also go over the area with the eggshells and remove any that didn't adhere. This area, I really didn't put much down, so there's not going to be a lot there. see how nice that area came out it just wherever I put the glue it just kept it contained to that area so there we go I'm gonna take this outside for a second and just blow on it really good Make sure I have all the loose particles off and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is add some resin that has some purple alcohol ink mixed into it over this area here. I just want to see what it looks like. I've never done this before. I was just going to color the egg shell with a solid color resin but just want to see what it looks like over the silver leaf and the eggshell so it's kind of cool because it looks like broken up chips of some kind of rock underneath and the silver leaf gets a really nice shininess I mean underneath this resin it looks very shiny so you know what let's just go for it we'll see how it turns out I could always add more rocks and stuff underneath or not underneath, in the uh, resin, in the center here. So I'm kind of just drizzling it here in the eggshell. To cover that whole area. That was the Lavender Alcohol Ink by Art Company. I bought it at AC Moore. So I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. This is obviously gonna be a multi-layer project, so 
it's okay if it's not all covered on the first layer, the eggshell area. Okay. Uh, here we go with the colors. This is the Blue Moth from Just Pigments. Really pretty color. I'm going to go right along the side of this. I'm kind of just outlining the silver areas for now. Now I have some Amethyst Dream from Lorez. Another beautiful color. I really like that blue mauve. That is a gorgeous color. Really, really, really pretty. I'm going to try to zoom you in here. I don't know if putting on the light will help. No, but it's, it's a gorgeous gorgeous color. I'm working on getting lighting guys and a better overhead view. So just be patient, please. It'll all come together eventually. All right, now I have some uh, white. White will be next. I want to kind of just 
put some lines of white here and there. And then silver by Lorez, molten silver. And I want to dump out a bunch here. I'm just going to use a stick to ensure I don't overdo it. Just want a little patch there. Same thing over here, just a little line of it. Then I want to put a thin, thin line up the center here. Okay. So I'm thinking of, of whether or not I want to use some Resi Blast on this to create some interest. Um, At some point, you take the risk of creating too much interest, believe it or not. It's very easy to overdo something. So. Let me get my uh, heat gun on this, and then I'll figure it out. as soon as I get this last area. I made just enough resin. Okay, is that a little more of the blue mauve? The blue moth has a sparkle. I can't even 
explain. It looks more, you know, dark purple, but it's got this blue sparkle in it that is amazing. I'm going to take you for a close-up as soon as I get this done here. Okay, so let me heat it up and then I will figure out what I'm going to do. And you know something? Make sure when you do the silver leaf, you get every little piece off of your work area so it doesn't blow around like that. As a matter of fact, if you could do the silver leaf outside, you'd be doing yourself a big favor because it's messy. is flying everywhere. Okay, so I'm liking this. I'm going to leave this for now. And then once it cures, come back and figure out what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a resi blast on this one. I'm going to be uh, let the eggshells be the center of attention. Just picking out the little pieces of gold leaf or silver leaf. Yeah, once you hit that stuff with the paintbrush to clean it off, it gets really messy. So if you can do it outside, I would recommend doing that. These areas here, I'm going to come back after this cures and put some clear in there. I just don't want to do it now because if I do, the clear is going to push the colored resin back a little bit. And you might end up seeing some of the old painting. So... I'm just going to leave it alone, let it do its thing, spread out. Who knows, maybe those areas won't even be there when it's time. But let me take you in for a close-up. Okay. So, next to the eggshells, that's the molten silver. But right after that, the darker, and between the amethyst dream and the silver line, that's the blue moth. It is really a swanky color. You see it there? There it is right there. Right there. And look at it next to the alcohol ink too. It, it's like, it's a really nice effect. So there it is so far. Eggshells are not covered all the way, but they will be eventually as the process goes on. So there's the blue mauve going out into the white and you see more of the blue in it now. Over here, that's it again. Right there. It is uh, more like a darker blackish purple with a little bit of blue but once it hits the white you see it's got more blue in it so anyway that's it for today 
as soon as this cures I will be back I'm gonna uh, leave a link below for the pigments and as always have a great day happy pouring